Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new section which is reporting. In this lecture we will understand what are the standard reports delivered by SAP in HCM module and also how to create variant. So SAP human resources provides standard reports to extract data from tables without you having to spend time and resources on custom program developments. It means there are many standard reports which you can utilize and which saves time as well as you don't have to spend money and resources to create custom program and developments. Definitely there will be some situations where the standard reports will not meet the company's requirement. In that case, you have to create custom programs. But mostly like the standard reports fulfill the client's requirement. So it's not like 100% the standard reports will fulfill the client's requirement. There are some definitely like uh, situations where you have to create the custom programs. SAP Human Resources provides more than 200 standard reports. So, the standard reports are available in the following SAP HCM module, which are personal management, time management, payroll, training and event management, and organizational management. The term report is used in the HR reporting to mean executable programs that read data from the database and then report on the data without changes being written to the database. Report is something which is extracting from the database, not basically updating something or changing something and writing back to the database. So these are the standard reports. So let's see how you basically execute a report in SAP. A report is usually executed as follows. So you, you start the report from SAP Easy Access menu via Info System. When I show you practically, it will be more clear. The next step is when you start the report from the SAP Easy Access menu, the next screen will be the selection screen where you have to enter some selection parameters so that you are telling the system and you are telling the report, hey, go and apply these conditions and get me the output. So basically you are restricting the output of the report by putting some parameters. For example, there is a field called employee subgroup. You want the report to restrict only to a particular specific set of employees like employee subgroup is equal to salary. So that report, what it does, it reads the data from the database, processes it in accordance and then outputs the result for only that employee subgroup and when the report is extracted you can export the output of that data in excel and other options which are available in sap so this was uh, like a high level what are the standard reports in sap hcm and how you basically execute a report let's see what is a variant variant allow you to save your selection parameters in the input selection screen so that you do not have to enter the same values each time you execute a report. It means like you are executing a report today and you are entering some values in some fields. Tomorrow again you are executing a report and entering the same values. So every time when you are executing the same report and entering the same values, SAP has given an option to basically create a variant and save it with a name. So next time when you execute the report, you can just pick up the variant which you saved previously so that all the values will be automatically shown on the screen. So let's see those uh, options here. I'm click on SAP logon. I'm entering my user ID and password. Now, this is the first screen, SAP Easy Access. As mentioned in the slides, 
you start a report from the SCP Easy Access menu via uh, information systems. If you see information systems, this is a section where all the reports will be stored. So there are two ways to access the report. One is like if you go to human resource, expand human resource and then go to each of the sub module like if you are going to personal management, okay, expand this. Now again go to administration, expand this. Then here you find info system. Then reports. So what are you doing? You are going to your human resources, going to the specific sub module that is personal management and then going to administration. Again you are going to HR master data and then you are reaching info system. Info system is the place where all the reports are stored. So either you can go per module or you can directly jump to the information system. So even if you go here and go to human resources here, it is basically same thing. Instead of going there, you can directly come here also. So anywhere it is basically uh, you know taking you to the report section. So either of the navigation path is fine. So this is how you basically access a report section in SAP. Now let's see how to execute a report. Now I am trying to execute a standard report. So I am going to information system, I am going to human resources, under that I am going to reports and then going to personal management. Now I am going to administration and then I am trying to see some reports which are related to the employee. These are all the standard reports. If you see, it, uh, there are some reports uh, who, uh, which extract the family members details, the birthday list, education uh, details and many others. So like this there are different reports. Let's, uh, uh, let us uh, you know, uh, try to uh, get familiar with uh, how to basically uh, you execute a report. Let us pick up this one, employee list. So you know the navigation path, how I came all the way here. Okay. Now, so you came from here, human resource, uh, from information system to human resource, from reports to personal management, then administration, then employee. Then I am basically starting this report. So what I am doing and I am double clicking on this report. So this is the selection screen. If you see my slide, I was talking about selection screen. This is the selection screen. Meaning, there will be so many fields, means these are the parameters, I would say. So you can enter like, okay, fine, I want to basically, uh, you know, extract a report only for employee subgroup like uh, ZS, for example. This is the employee subgroup ZS. Now, you want to execute. So it is tell, uh, showing two employees which basically belongs to that employee subgroup. So these were the employees which we created during our sessions. So I am restricting the report. So I am just entering some employee subgroup. Similarly, there are other fields also. If you do not find the field which you are looking for, then you can go and click this further selections. So if you click further selections, so what happens? It will show you the the fields which are basically shown up here and the fields which are still uh, there for selection options. So what you can do like if you are trying to uh, you know basically uh, extract the report based on some other field. So what you can do you can select whatever you want from these options. See I am selecting all. Once you select this you see this arrow select click on this. So what it will do? It is bringing all these selection fields to the right hand section. Now you press enter and just see here what will happen. So I am pressing enter. See all those extra fields also came up. So if you do not find your field in this selection screen, then you can go and click further selections and add the other fields to the selection screen. Now what is variant? Let me tell you. 
variant is basically now i have entered employee subgroup right if i go back again if you want to execute this report again click on it now your employee subgroup has gone and all those uh, other fields which you basically selected they are also not shown here why because you didn't create it a variant so now let us create a variant so first let me select some of the fields which i want like i'm selecting three fields i am moving it to the right hand section now press enter now these are the three which are shown up here now i am basically entering my employee subgroup and employee group now i want to save this i want to save this so what you have to do simply go to save button here click on the save icon here save as variant see the moment i placed my cursor it is showing it save as variant now click on it so what it will do it will tell you okay what is your variant name put zenith variant zenith and the long text zenith variant for testing once you enter the variant name and description now you can save it now you have saved it right now you go back now again execute the report now you won't find it but you already saved a variant right either you can click this icon to get your variant because now you are unable to see those fields like you entered employee group and employee subgroup and also you added few other fields now you are unable to see them because you saved them in your variant now i am going and clicking on this icon which is basically get variant when i click on this and it is telling who created those variants i can say okay find this user created execute this it basically shows automatically the variant which i have created but if you want to see the name of the variant you can search from here so if you see zenith variant here it is there because see i'll go back again i am executing the report again so either you click on this one remove the user execute this one it will show you all the variant name and you can search the variant which you created oh my variant is here zenith variant select this hit enter now it showed you your variant so what it is doing basically it is reducing your effort every time when you execute the report you don't have to enter the same values in the same fields every time rather than that you can basically save all those entries in a variant and whenever you are trying to execute the report for the same values you can just go and pick up your variant so this basically reduces your time now let's see the output so you have entered your uh, details in the fields now you are executing the report now this is the output here now there are two things in the output just focus what i am trying to show you if you place your cursor it says change layout if you place your cursor it says select layout if you place your cursor here save layout let me change the layout change layout means like if you see here whatever the columns are showed here this is the current layout now i'm changing the layout so if you see here displayed columns what are the displayed columns here right now if you see personal number personal id name of the employee name at birth till leaving date there are some other things company code personal area cost center tax if you want to move this either you double click or you highlight this and click on the left hand so that you want to make sure that these come under the displayed columns you highlight this and again click here now press enter you will see all those particular columns which you added because initially these columns were not there right you basically changed the layout now if you don't save this layout again when you go back back and execute the report only the columns till this leaving columns will be shown not all other columns right because only till leaving it will be shown because we didn't actually 
save the layout now let us save the layout i am saving it here and i am writing something like zenith zenith here zenith so this is user specific meaning that this variant is only applicable to the user who is creating this because uh, he doesn't want this variant to be you know seen by other people he just want to keep this variant for himself default means it is applicable for everyone i mean whoever executes the report they will able to see the output like this but i am just trying to save this variant uh, uh, the layout as a user specific so here i saved it now i go back again i am executing the report see those columns are not shown here now i am going and selecting the layout which layout zenith layout double click it showed all other columns so this is the way how you execute a report as well as how you, you can change the layout as well as save the layout and then select that layout whenever you need it so this is really simple you can practice yourself by running these standard reports which sap has provided and get familiar to it thank you